nervous. Very, very dreadfully nervous I am. But why will you say I'm mad? The disease has sharpened my senses. Not destroyed, not dulled them. Above all was my sense of hearing acute. I heard all things in heaven and in the earth, and I heard many things in hell. How then am I mad? Hearken and observe how healthily, how calmly I can tell you the whole story. It is impossible to say how the idea first entered my brain, but once conceived, it haunted me day and night. I loved the old man. He never wronged me. He never insulted me. But I think it was the eye. He had the eye of a vulture, a pale blue eye with a film over it. Whenever it fell upon me, my blood ran cold. And so very gradually, I made up my mind to take the life of the old man and rid myself of the eye forever. At this point, you fancy me mad. But how wisely I proceeded. With what caution. With what foresight. With what dissimulation I went to work. I did this for seven long nights, but I found the eye was always closed, and so it was impossible to do the work, for it was not the old man that vexed me, but his evil eye. And every morning... Did you still sleep through the night? When day broke. Well, you fit into it, this false gravity for so long. I offered only the esteem he deserved. It will be impossible to replace your talents here. And he would have had to be a very clever man indeed. But luckily, your training skills have matched that of your work. To suspect that every night. You're undoubtedly cut out for your next phase in life. I watched over him while he slept. Never before the eighth night had I felt the extent of my own powers, of my sagacity. <laughs> Who's there? Death had him stalked with his black shadow before him. Ship of Ninvinde. His room still black as pitch with the thick darkness. It's nothing but creaks in the old floor panels. That dull blue vulture's eye with a hideous veil over it that chills the very marrow of my bones. His fear grows louder and louder. It increases my fury as the beating of a drum stimulates the soldier into courage. So strange a noise as this excited me into uncontrollable terror and anxiety seized me. <laughs> Anubis, part as it expelled from our vessel. I worry of a sudden flee. 
Space is always as dark as midnight. Has there been a terrible accident? We'll rendezvous with his pod soon. An investigation unit will dock with you shortly. No human eye, not even his, could detect anything wrong. There was nothing more to wash out. No stain of any kind, no blood spot whatsoever. I opened the airlock with a light heart. What have I now to fear? Welcome. Good evening, trainee. Let's get to it. A screech was ordered prior to the unscheduled departure. Likely the clunky air releases he into the pod. This vessel is beginning to age severely. We'd like to take a look around his quarters. We hope to discover clues for the reason of his departure. Certainly. Right this way. I showed them his quarters. Secure, undisturbed. The investigators were satisfied as my manner convinced them. I barely knew him, but he trained a few of my friends. How long were you stationed here together? 400 revs. He will be absorbed into that ghastly atmosphere in due time. It is disappointing. We cannot properly bury him. We will surely find his body before he reaches the atmosphere. I wish them gone. Perhaps his brilliance led to eccentricities. Undetected after all this time? Impossible. My head ached. Or maybe apprehension over his impending promotion pushed him over the edge. All those years on the system. Why would they not be gone? I can't understand how you guys do it. With the knowledge, pushes humanity forward. And the beauty is undeniable. What's great until you're driven insane from it? Oh, God! What can I do? Is it possible they cannot hear? Perhaps it's time to return and deliver our report. No, no. They heard. Yes. They are making a mockery of this horror. Anything is better than this agony. It is peaceful out here, though. Anything is more tolerable than this derision. I sometimes wish for an extended investigation so close to these massive bodies. I could bear those hypocritical smiles no longer. I want to scream or die! Hark! Louder! 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 Phyllis! Disassemble no more! I meant the deed! Here! Here! It is the beating of his hideous heart! Trouble me never more.